The Jamaican Prime Minister Andrew Holness is breaking his silence on that visit from Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. It sure feels like he's about to get Markle next. Welcome to Popcorn Palace. I am Andy Signor. So glad to be back with you guys. I told you I'd be posting more content here about the Royals. We're going to be posting less over on Planet, but I hope you'll still support our coverage there. Please do. We have, you like what we say here. I can't imagine you're not going to like what we say there, but I'm going to lean in and post you all the content about the Royals here, and I hope you'll help us hit that button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for alerts, and get our numbers up. We want to get to 100,000 subscribers. I think we can do it. Some of these videos have more views than subscribers. How do we earn your subscribe? I hope it's today, and I hope you click it because this is where you're going to get all your royalty moving forward. And yes, we are here to respond to this new report coming in. The Jamaican prime minister has broken his silence. Unsuspecting is how what he called it. He, uh, he said he feels like he has been drawn into some internal issues in the UK after Meghan and Prince Harry made a surprise visit to the Caribbean island. Now, as we know, they say they were invited by Paramount CEO Brian Robbins to promote the movie. I don't really believe that. I don't. Uh, they showed up clearly with a lot of boxes to check, one of which was to pose arm in arm with the Jamaican prime minister. Now, the reason this was a big deal was because Jamaica is one, is one country uh, still under the monarchy who is attempting to pull themselves out. Uh, Jamaican Prime Minister has broken his silence after this whole appearance caused that uproar. Andrew Holness said he felt as though he had been drawn into some internal issues in the United Kingdom after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex attended the premiere of the Bob Marley biopic One Love in Jamaica. The royals were spotted brushing shoulders with some of Jamaica's political class in Kingston on January 23rd. Their meeting with Mr. Holness caused uproar as Prince Harry's father, King Charles, was seeking treatment for an enlarged prostate at the time. Mr. Holness had previously pledged to hold a referendum on removing the king as the head of state. He went as far as telling William and Kate in their, uh, during one of their visits to the nation was moving on from a monarchy when they visited back in 2022. However, Mr. Holness was more upbeat about the Sussexes attending the showbiz event. He told Jamaican newspaper The Gleaner, I was pleased and I was also very happy to see royals coming to participate in this major event. Now let's correct him right there. They are not royals anymore. Okay, they are not working royals. They're not royals. They keep holding on to those titles. And the more and more I see all this, yes, I agree with all of you who say they should be stripped of their titles. There should be no more royalness at, at all associated to them. Uh, but he's he's clearly enjoying this. I can't imagine this is going to stay long because I, Meghan and Harry are clearly going to distance themselves moving forward. I, I have a strong suspicion they're about to get markled. I'm curious what you guys think. Tell me what you think in the comments. But here was more of the quote from Andrew Holness. Unsuspecting, little did I know that I'd be drawn into some internal issues in the United Kingdom. But so it is, more publicity for Jamaica. Now, again, I don't believe this guy knew this would be unsuspecting. He knew exactly what this was. Him and his team had to know by these photo ops with Meghan Harry, which, again, I think Meghan Harry also knew was a huge uh, shot at the monarchy. And it just was so disrespectful. In fact, royal author Phil Damper was among those to criticize Harry and Meghan's decision to meet Mr. Holness. He told the Daily Mail, under normal circumstances, there would be nothing wrong with them going to a film premiere. But at the time when his father is undergoing uh, surgery, he's under the knife, and Jamaica's making noises about ditching the monarchy, this is rather insensitive. I would agree. What do you guys think? It's, it just shows they are going to war, in my opinion. They, they chose a week when the whole three major family members are under uh, treatment, medical, serious medical treatment. And they went jetted off to Jamaica, which is a far away place. Jetted off to Jamaica for a Bob Marley movie premiere. And they got crappy seats in the overflow theater, but I digress. Um, this is incredibly insensitive of them. Incredibly insensitive of them. And I think absolutely purposeful. Now, this whole thing, this appearance to me, absolutely was a publicity stunt. Now, I think there were multiple publicity stunts happening. I There is a possibility that Brian Robbins invited them so they would get some more press. I do believe that. And I believe Meghan and Harry were there to give photograph, photograph with Brian Robbins to show Netflix that they have other streamers that they can cozy up to. Not that it's actually going to mean anything, 
But there was that press, which is like, great, Megan and Harry are like, great, we can cozy up to a new streamer. Oh, and we can go to Jamaica and cozy up with the with the with the government government there and have a nice little warning shot to the family. How do you not think that through before you go to a premiere like this? This was clearly, clearly a massive publicity stunt. And again, and he's right, it proved they cannot be trusted. Royal experts criticized Mer uh, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle and their visit to Jamaica, saying it was a deliberate move to coincide with a very difficult week for the royal family. Facts. They were blasted by this expert over the last night's appearance. We, we've talked about this, but just to, to reiterate, um, again, with the enlarged prostate operation, Kate's ongoing surgery, et cetera, Duchess, uh, Sarah, Duchess uh, Sarah Ferguson, a lot of stuff was going on in this family at the time. They knew their appearance would get a huge amount of publicity, but they also discussed their controversial pictures with Jamaican Prime Minister Andrew Holness. Harry and Meghan clearly staged this appearance in Jamaica because they knew it would get a huge amount of publicity during a difficult week for the Royal family with the King due to enter hospital and Catherine hospital after, after an operation and due to take some weeks to recover. This appearance by the Sussexes was no accident. Facts. It will, sorry, let me close this. It will reinforce the family's views that they are not to be trusted. And it seems a deliberate ploy by the couple to remind the wider world of their pull their brand could have in the Commonwealth. On their interaction with Jamaican PM, the expert added, Andrew Holness, Prime Minister of Jamaica, made it clear during the Wales visit in, New, in uh, March 2022, the country would become a republic. Referendum is required to achieve this and is therefore by no means a foregone conclusion. However, he was blunt in his comments in front of his royal guests. And that's the reality here. He's been vocal about wanting these, you know, cut the ties from the monarchy, but a uh, poll only sh shows that half of Jamaicans uh, would vote to become a republic with 40% saying they'd vote to retain the monarchy. So he's still got to win that vote. So it doesn't mean that they're just going to be able to do it. So we'll see what happens here. The fact that the vote's that close once again proves how much of a shot this was to the royals. Oh, we're going to show up and put our cachet to these as well. And it does look like the prime minister is just he's trying to play. He's trying to eat his cake and have it, you know, eat his cake and have it too. In that, oh, I didn't know. I was unsuspecting. I didn't see this coming. You're right. You're right. Sure, sure. Yes, you did. I seem to be a bit drawn into some internal issues. Yeah, you knew that. You knew you were going to do that by posing with them. You were smiling. You were excited. But I would not. I would not expect Harry and Meghan to stick around much longer. I'm sure they'll disappear next, given the bad press they received from this event. I'm sure he's about to get markled. But I'm curious what you guys think. What do you think on this one? Are you surprised by his comments? Do you think he's just as shady as them? I want to hear it again. Hope we've earned your subscription. Hit that subscribe button if we have. The bell for alerts. Let's get us to 100K. Smash the like button. Let's get this engagement going so we can get all the daily royalty here on Popcorn Palace. More coverage coming. Can't wait to share it with you. Thank you guys so much for watching.